Episode 5 of Tower of God came out a couple of days ago. And let's just say there are a few things that I really liked. Hello peeps, it's your favorite AnnieTuber. Consider subscribing to my channel, I upload at least two brand new videos every week and the best way to watch them is of course a subscription. Now first of all, the most important thing, which was sort of a cliffhanger in the last episode, Rachel did not turn out to be as bad as we initially thought her to be. <laughs> Turns out she actually does care about Bomb, but why she was acting all mysterious and trying to avoid meeting him is something we might find out in the next episode. Because in the end of this one, she goes to see him in the hospital. Also, Bomb, it seems, has some super mysterious deviant power in him. Big Twist will play a major part in the story as well as his own character development. Speaking of twists, Kuhn's bag is interesting to say the least. As far as we know, it has seemingly infinite storage capacity and can also copy things that are stored inside it. Kuhn managed to keep three people in there, as we found out in this episode. I am really looking forward to see how he uses it in the future. But the biggest plot twist of this episode was that this blue thing is actually a bandana. F in the comment section for people, including yours truly, who thought it was a part of his hair. Speaking of Kuhn, I think I really like him. Like, a lot. Wait, is that gay? Yeah, I don't care. Just when I thought this anime could not get any more like hiatus hiatus when I talked about Killua and Hisoka in my Tower of God review, which you can check out right here, they just went and dropped a direct reference. But this was not the only anime that was referenced in this episode, as the internet's old friend Zawardo itself makes an appearance. All in all, a great episode. Not the best one, because my favorite episode is still episode 2 as of yet. If I have to nitpick, I would say the one thing that I feel is lacking in this anime would be the animation. Although it's far from being bad and does deliver when needed, but I've yet to see a shot that really stands out and makes you go Damn, that was pretty fucking awesome. Anyway, that was just my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Watch my review of Tower of God, link in the description. Like the video, subscribe for more awesome content. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.